Hello to everyone. My name is Shavi Zane, and I am coming on to do a message to have a discussion with you all in regards to frenemies, okay? So this can actually include family members, lovers, friends that you might have had for many years, cousins, aunts, uncles, your mama, your daddy, whoever it is that comes to mind in regards to uh, the person that you are questioning in terms of their intentions. Maybe for a long time you felt within your own spirit that there was something about your interaction with them that just didn't sit well with you. There might have been something about um, just their, their energy. When they come around, they seem to have a jealous spirit or they seem to be um, envious of your accomplishments or they never really seem to give you encouragement or, you know, maybe they was only around during your time of uh, heartache, but never to really uplift you more so to maybe talk about you or maybe they seem to get a kick out of your pain. So your intuition has been telling you that there's a specific person that has been in your life that, you know, you've questioned. And for some of you, you might have already released this person, maybe multiple people. But for some of you, you might still have some sort of connection to this person, maybe out of a sense of loyalty or maybe some part of your heart says, you know, you, you can't release them because of who they are to you or the amount of time that they have been in your life. Um, and so I want to do this reading in regards to that specific person that you may be thinking about at this time to bring you some clarity and to, um, to pretty much because your intuition has already given you one answer. And so I want to clarify that for you. Okay. And to shine some light on this because we need to know who our friends are, but we definitely need to know who our enemies are so that we can clear our energy and release any obstacles or blockages that we may have in the spiritual realm that might be keeping you stuck or keeping you from moving towards your destiny or your success or stepping into the, the greatest version of yourself, becoming the greatest version of yourself, okay? And so I'm going to get right into it. I got a multitude of questions that I want to ask here. Let's just kind of dive in to see what the current energy is between you and the person that you may be thinking about. The person that you are questioning in terms of their intentions towards you and how they truly feel. So the eight of uh, pentacles came out in the reverse, okay? This card in the reverse indicates that you may not be putting in the effort, okay? We got the eight of wands in the reverse. This can also indicate block communication, no forward movement. Right behind that, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So a lot of backstabbing energy here. Um, and having a hard time maybe releasing the pain that was associated with the betrayal, okay? And maybe it's been a multitude of times that this person has betrayed you. You're probably, you know, doing a lot of... Um, <clears throat> you know, really looking at this friendship or this relationship. You might have known this person seven years or more. This could have been someone that you might have known all of your life. But I see that there's no longer any passion or spark in this connection here. Um, yeah, there's no longer any passion or spark in this connection here. This opportunity has, you know, you've, you've go ahead and you've uh, released this person for many of you. <clears throat> so what I'm seeing just starting off, okay? You've taken a really good look at the history of this relationship, okay? And you realize that there's been so many uh, scenarios of betrayal and a lot of jealousy here, a lot of jealous and envious type of energy with the Eight of Wands coming out in the reverse. Um, and you haven't been able to fully dive into those things that you are passionate about because of your connection to this person. I feel like this person might have even been envious anytime you had a spark or a new idea or something that you wanted to invest in, something that you felt passionate about. This person always found a way to dim your light. This person never wanted to be able to see you seek out new opportunities or to grab hold of new opportunities that was being brought into your life. This person's energy in your life has actually put a lot of those things on hold, whether you realize it or not. Um, and it's been very difficult, I feel, for you to heal from the things that this person has done to you because the betrayal has been, it's happened so many times that maybe even a large part of you has put a lot of your focus in on 
the multiple betrayals and you've had a difficult time releasing that. Okay. I feel like this person also had a, a hand in keeping you stuck in terms of your financial prosperity as well. We have a couple of eights here. So that deals with abundance. I feel like they, their energy in your life because of the jealousy that they had towards you, whenever you had these new opportunities presented to you or even new ideas, things that you thought of that you was passionate about, maybe new business endeavors or whatever the case may be that you wanted to invest in, this person's energy in your life had a way of being that obstacle in the spiritual realm that stopped these things from coming towards you because of your connection that you had to them. So let's see. What is this Eight of Pentacles in the reverse? I want to clarify these things. What is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse? Look at this. So we have the Death card here first. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse is clarified by the Death card, which indicates that those things that you might have been working on um, a lot of times it did come to an end. You was not able to complete a lot of things that you really was passionate about at one point. But I'm also seeing that this relationship is over. Okay. For some of you, this may have been a relationship, but sometimes the lovers can deal with people, you know, business partners, friendships. Okay. But you put this thing to rest. You're no longer focused in on this person because you realize that this person, I feel like what I just heard was opportunist for some of you. Okay. Now, for the Ten of Pentacles here, the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. This is also clarifying the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You was not able to, for some of you, this was family, okay? Ten of Pentacles, that would deal with someone who was in your family structure. Um, this person might have even been very jealous in terms of your relationships and not wanting to see you thrive in your, um, in your romantic relationships, okay? I feel like there was also a a stagnation there in terms of your love life because of this person being in your energy. And so this, this situation is completely done and over with. I'm also hearing, yeah, emotional um, imbalance. This person was emotionally unstable and for some of you very codependent emotionally as well. And so because this person was not happy within themselves they had a tendency to project that energy off onto you and maybe a large part of you felt as if for some time you might have felt sorry for this person or this person. I feel like this person here, especially the Queen of Cups in reverse, was the type of person where if you was to communicate with them, they, they actually received a lot of gratification from like basking in misery like conversations that dealt in low vibrational energy, talking about other people or talking about how life, you know, you know, all of these bad things that was happening in life, that's where you bonded at, you know, and I feel like you got tired of that type of communication with this person because it was very draining. The more that you begin to heal and awaken to who you are, the, the less interested you were when it came to uh, communicating or connecting with this person, but this person was very codependent on just low vibrational energy, anything that dealt in gossip or bringing other people down, speaking ill against other people. This person was all for that because it fed this, um, this emotional imbalance that they had within themselves. And so they projected that energy off onto you. I feel quite often, um, I feel like this person had a large refusal to put in the work to heal themselves and to go through the transformation that would have been necessary to uh, create emotional stability for themselves. And uh, that's another reason why you ended up releasing this person, because the more that you begin to invest in yourself and to invest in your own growth and expansion, the less the two of you had in common. You also begin to take a look at all of the times, again, that this person betrayed you and stabbed you in the back. And I feel like you begin to take inventory of it. You started to really take a good look at it. Whereas in the past, you might have forgiven this person multiple times, you know, because you felt that because they was family or because they might have been a long-term friend, um, that for, you know, you felt a sense of loyalty to this person because of that. 
but it's very clear that um, this person did not have good intentions. They was very manipulative in their energy as well. Um, look at this. So we have here, you're, you're no longer confused about this person. Maybe in the past you was confused about them. You know, things was a little foggy in terms of um, what their intentions were. You know, maybe they was very good at manipulating you emotionally into believing or creating some sort of fantasy for you that made you think that this was a true friendship, a true family uh, situation, connection, re relationship, whatever this is. And you begin to awaken. The fog begins to clear. OK, and so this tower moment took place. But I feel like for a long time. You allowed yourself to believe that there was something more here than what it was. You allowed yourself to, you know, you kind of bought into the fantasy of this connection because you wanted to avoid this tower moment. You wanted to avoid this ending from happening. But the reality is it was never stable. It was never solid. It was never built on a solid foundation. OK, there was a lot of darkness here. There was a lot of secrets um, and just a lot of pain with the fire there. You know, you had built up this false sense of security in this connection and staying in the dark about it or staying confused about it actually was something that you created for yourself so that you did not end up having to release this person, ultimately having to release this person from your life. Um, but I feel like they was very good at emotionally manipulating you for a long time as well. So let's see what else is coming out. Let me see what this Ten of Swords in reverse is all about. Because that's all about betrayal here. So the Knight of Pentacles is here in the reverse, which is that energy of no more forward movement. But it's also that energy, I feel the Hermit is right behind that. I feel that... The betrayals that they was actually causing towards you was actually, like I said, it was stagnating your forward movement in terms of you moving towards your financial abundance, you um, moving towards your divine partnership or a long-term connection, long-term relationships, long-term uh, friendships. It put, a, it put a halt on those things, okay? The betrayal that this person was causing in your life, whatever it is they was doing, it was actually stopping you from receiving those things that you, you know, because you've been planting many good seeds. You've planted many good seeds, but for whatever reason, you was never able to fully reap the harvest of the seeds that you planted. And so it's almost as if it was a, a very extended delay in your forward movement because you should have you should have reaped the harvest of the seeds you planted a long time ago. But a large part of the reason why these things was not able to come towards you or you was not able to receive these blessings was because things was put on hold so that you could really take inventory and take a good look at the history of this relationship. And I also feel that a large part of you wanted to try to avoid being alone. Maybe this was that, maybe you had to release a lot of people, you know, naturally during this time where people are awakening and transitioning and expanding and going through these transformations, you end up releasing a lot of people from your life. And so it could come down to where you have that one last friend, you know, or that, that just, even if it's not the last person that you have around you, it could be that one person where it's like, if I release this person, then it's just going to be me. I'm going to end up being alone and having to go through this journey alone. But ultimately this is what destiny was calling for you to do. So that you can do that inner work, so that you can go within and really do that deep reflecting. The hermit does this alone. The hermit goes within and does that introspection. And, you know, I feel like you really took a look at how this person was affecting you and influencing you emotionally. I feel like you became very inauthentic to who you was because you was connected to this person. And you begin to see that. You begin to see the jealousy. You begin to see the envy. You begin to see the confusion and the manipulation. You begin to see all of the losses that you took because of your connection to this person. So let me see. What is the Ace of Wands in the reverse? Yes, look at this. The Ace of Wands in the reverse is the Ten of Wands. You know, you had... I feel like 
you carried a lot of burdens. You carried a lot of weight because of this connection, this this friendship, whoever this person is. It was it was very burdensome and very heavy. And I feel like you had to bear the weight of the relationship. I don't feel like this person was even given half of the effort to this connection as you were, as you was, okay? Um, and this person watched you struggle a lot, okay? They watched you bend over backwards to try to maintain, or maybe you, you, maybe you did a lot of things for this person. Maybe you was very given towards this person at one point in time. But this person, they watched you struggle, Okay. And it was just, just the relationship in and of itself was very heavy. It was very burdensome on, on your shoulders just to carry the weight of uh, this relationship. And I feel like even with the Ace of Wands, because this is clarifying the Ace of Wands in reverse, all of those times that you had a new idea, all of those times that you had a spark, that passion, that zeal to go and do something new, to start a fresh new beginning for yourself, you ended up missing out on these opportunities because... This person had a way of dimming your light, their energy, even if they was not, you know, you might not see it as them having a direct impact on it. But understand that everybody that is in your energetic space, everybody that you welcome into your life, especially when you're interacting with them on a regular basis, these people have a large influence on your forward movement or your lack thereof. OK, they can cause a lot of postponements when it when it comes to the seeds that you plant, okay? So you spend all of this time, many years, you know, working on things. And, and consider, too, that because this is someone that you was communicating with regularly, whenever you had a spark or something that you was excited about, you probably went and told this person. And the moment you told them, it's like the light just went right out. They just zapped the passion right up out of you because they was the type of person that never wanted to give you... They never wanted to cheer you on. They never wanted to applaud you. They never wanted to see you do better than them. It was that type of energy where you might say, well, I'm excited because I have this, this fresh new idea and, you know, I've been investing in it. I've really been thinking about it. And here they come with, you know, to counter it with, um, well, that this might not be the right time. Or don't you think that you should be more focused on this? Or, or they might even, you know, completely... Um, disregard what you said all, all the way across the board and act as if it meant nothing to them. And so you had all of these beautiful ideas that you ended up just carrying and, and holding on to, never being able to do anything with anything um, with these ideas and these uh, these passions that you had because this person was in your energy field sending off negative, jealous energy, hoping that you did not end up rising to your divinity or stepping into those things that you um, was able to that you were uh, passionate about out of fear that if you started doing something that you loved or started doing something that you was passionate about, that you would end up receiving, um, you know, financial abundance for yourself. You would create something that um, they themselves did not have the passion or the spark to create because this person, they operate from low vibrational energy. Their heart chakra is closed off. So they don't, they don't see life from a perspective of love, passion, compassion, integrity. No, they, they, they're very confused and they like to keep people around them confused. Very unhappy with themselves. Self-love is not there at all. They don't love themselves. They don't love life. They have no passion. They have no spark. They have no zeal. They have no, that no talent. Okay. They could access those things within them if they do the work to heal. But this person is in that energy right now where they refuse to go through the transformation because a large part of them fears being alone. And so because that was their fear and you was connected and attached to them, it became your fear as well. And so you, the, you, end up ha you ended up having a codependency on a very toxic and unhealthy relationship with this person. And it became very burdensome over time. So you missed out on quite a few opportunities or things that you began um, didn't end up panning out for you because of your connection to this person. So what else is coming out? What is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse is those missed opportunities, okay? Losing that spark, lose, losing that passion, that zeal, that excitement, 
maybe even some of those messages that were supposed to come towards you, some of those offers that were supposed to come in, you, you ended up missing out on those things and you ended up having to keep these things to yourself. These things that you was passionate about, these new opportunities, you ended up having to keep it to yourself and hold back from it because ultimately it didn't pan out for you. So let me see. My next question is, how do they feel about you? Okay? Because intuitively, you already have the answer to that. But let's just see what comes out energetically. How does this person feel about you? Whoever this friend of me is, family member, lover, whoever this person is that you have clearly had to release and that you have uh, blocked conversation with or that you're no longer having forward movement with, how does this person feel about you? Okay, so they see that you have walked away from them, okay? They feel that you have walked away from them, and I just heard some of them feel abandoned because of it, because they was already dealing with a codependency on you, a codependency on your energy. Right here at the bottom is the Three of Wands, so they see that you have moved forward. You know, you're looking forward to a new beginning for yourself, okay? You've turned your back on this person, because both of these cards, you see this person's back. So you are moving towards a new start, okay? Okay. You're no longer taking action towards this person. You are moving away from them because you see that, you know, they no longer serve you in your forward movement. And so now it's this energy of you'll take this journey alone if you have to, even if this was down to your last friend or the last person that you could so-called uh, count on in terms of someone that you could talk to or um, whatever the case may be, whoever this person is, you've turned your back on this person because you realize that they was unhealthy for you. And you're feeling optimistic about moving forward. You want to expand. You want to connect with new people. You want to connect with new energy. People that are um, just as optimistic about life as you are. People that have um, a passion for life. And that go after the things that they want in life. You want to be able to create a new foundation for yourself. Okay? I feel like you're no longer afraid. You release fear. And because you release fear, you understood the importance of releasing anything that was attached to that fear. And so part of that was you taking this journey alone or you taking this journey without this person. And now that you release that fear, you're courageously and boldly moving forward, not necessarily knowing what's on the other side of this thing, but knowing that you're at least walking away from this person and all of the emotional um, upheaval or uh, dissatis dissatisfaction that you felt in this connection. So how does this person feel about you? They definitely feel that you're no longer interested in um, dealing with them, okay? How this person feels about you? The Ten of uh, Wands in the reverse. So the Ten of Wands in the reverse, we already saw this card came out in the upright previously. They feel that you have decided to release it. You recognize that this was a burdensome connection. You recognize that you know, it was a lot of weight on your shoulders trying to carry this connection. And so you have released this from your life, okay? They recognize that you have released it. So a large part of them even recognizes that they was toxic for you. Look at this. This is the four of pentacles in the reverse. So this is letting go. You're no longer holding on to this relationship anymore, okay? Whatever this connection is, you're no longer holding on to it. We got a couple of cards to indicate releasing. And three cards that already show the person's back, okay? So you definitely turned your back on this situation, and they see that you have done that. So I feel like even some part of them admires the fact that you was able to gather your strength and to release yourself from them. Because I feel like they're now stuck with a very toxic, if this is a family member with that ten of pentacles in the reverse, they're now stuck to deal with other people that are just like them. Um that are unbalanced, unstable, ungrounded. And they realize that you are now taking back your power, okay? How they see you is the Knight of uh, Cups in reverse. You're no longer offering your love. You're no longer offering your affection. You know, um, you've completely pulled back emotionally. They see you as being the emperor. They see you as taking your power back. They see you as taking control of your life. They see you as establishing authority in your life, okay? How does this person see you? They see you as being someone that they, they're probably very angry. They probably want to start a confrontation with you 
You know, I feel like they may even be, you know, you left them with other people who now they have to be in conflict and drama with. You know, maybe you was the type of person that went to battle for them in the midst of their drama. But they see that you're no longer offering your love for them. And so now you've left them to just deal with whatever conflict or drama or changes they're having to go through. Whether this is internally or externally, they see that you no longer want to deal with this type of energy. Okay? This person is also definitely gossiping about you with the page of uh, swords in the reverse. They're definitely gossiping about you and speaking negatively um, of you to others. Trying to, trying to actually bring in other ne uh, ne negative energies against you so that other people will feel confrontational or combative against you um, because you released them. So they're, they're gossiping, they're slandering your name, telling lies about you to other people because you no longer want to deal in this situation. And so I feel like they are trying to gather up other people that will work against you, but you're not bothered by it because you're manifesting and creating a new foundation for yourself. You know your power. You, you've taken your power back. You've taken your strength back. You know, you are the emperor of your empire. Okay, you are creating for yourself. And because you released this person, now you're in this energy of being able to create, being able to manifest and to call in those things that are rightfully yours. Your abundance, your inheritance, your spark, your passion for life, okay? That zeal, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, all of these things, self-love, okay? Real love, loving relationships, partnerships, all of these things now you have direct access to because you released this person, okay? And so they see you as being, they're trying to say that you're judgmental, you know, that you're judgmental and that you think you're better than them. Okay, um, you know, they think that, yeah, because strength is here, they're trying to tell people that you think you're better than them, okay, um, and maybe it, maybe they even tried to offer a false apology, but you recognize this, you saw this very clearly, you sensed that their apology was not, was not genuine, okay, but um, they realized that you made a judgment call on their behavior, and so they're trying to tell people, they're trying to tell other people that you're just a judgmental person. That you're a judgmental person. They're even trying to tell people that you're bitter. That you're bitter. You're the one that's bitter about the connection um, no longer being intact. When in fact it's them. And so whatever they can come up with to try to kick up chaos or drama for you, that's what they're currently doing. But again, you're sitting, you're seated in your power. You're creating for yourself. And you're moving towards a new beginning. So, let me see. I'm going to pull one more card in terms of how they feel. And then, yeah, they know that you're not focused on them. But see, they don't want the connection to end. They don't want this uh, friendship, whatever it is, to end. They're still holding on to it by, by a thread. But it's over with because the death came out in the upright in the, in the previous um, layout. And so you're no longer putting your effort or your energy into this situation. Yeah, because there is not a stable foundation. So for some of you, this could have been someone that you live with. This could have been, <coughs> been someone who was a part of your family structure. Um, but whatever the case may be, you realize, yeah, for some of you, this is a lover. You realize that this person was not who they, yeah, they was not who... You thought they were, okay? Or they, they was not the person that you hoped that they would ultimately become because you invested a lot of your time in this situation, in this connection, um, in hopes that they would maybe change or, you know, I feel like as you continue to gain your wisdom, you might have even begun to share some of this wisdom with them, but they rejected that because a large part of them, they needed you to be in that low vibrational energy in order to feel powerful, I guess in order to stroke their own ego or to make themselves have a sense of um, a sense of purpose because, you know, they did not want to heal. They didn't want to go through the process. And so you did that. The emperor is someone who has healed. He's taken his power back. He's taken authority over his life, gained a lot of wisdom, creating his own foundations, the emperor of his empire. And so you are here in this energy. You learned the, uh, the importance of keeping your energy clear. You understand um, the laws of cause and effect. You understand that what you put out there is what you create. You understand, um, you understand energy. 
And so this person, they was always in this jealous energy. The Eight of Wands deals with jealousy and so does the Five of Swords. They are very jealous, very envious, very manipulative, always trying to cause drama, cause chaos for you. And so you made a judgment call on their behavior. You're no longer taking action towards this person. And you created this tower. You decided it's time for this thing to come down. It's no longer serving me. I have to go ahead and release this connection because it's, it's not healthy. It's not healthy for my forward movement. You listen to your intuition about this person. Because I feel like that's what you had to begin to draw on so that you could come out of this energy of, you know, stress. I feel like this person was also in this energy of depression. And that was actually something that you was <coughs> picking up on because of the close ties that you had with this person. And so maybe you didn't understand why you was going through some of the things that you was dealing with. And it was like, once you release this person, suddenly you realize that you took your power back. Suddenly you realize that you had the ability, a very powerful ability to create for yourself. And so this person was blocking that off for you. We have people that come around spiritually. They have these assignments, okay? They get these assignments to come in and to be a blockage for you, to keep you from rising to your divinity, to keep you from understanding the power that you possess to be the co-creator of your life. And so oftentimes we end up having these connections, long-term friendships, family, whatever the case may be, business partnerships, co-workers, and they, it, they end up being that stumbling block in the spiritual realm to keep you from releasing yourself from the matrix because of the energy that they project. And so now that you have released them, you have a lot of beautiful things that you are now uh, creating for yourself, okay? So let me see what else. Um, how has their energy affected you? How has their energy affected you? So I'm going to pull from two decks here. How has their energy affected you? You having them in your life. How has that affected you? Because I did see multiple cards to kind of um, look at this. The five of pentacles. I'm cutting it at the five of pentacles and the ace of the ace of wands. So the ace of wands deals with that spark, that passion, that zeal. You had you abandoned a lot of those things that you was passionate about because this is about abandonment. OK, and also financial, um, financial poverty. OK, maybe even illness. You know, there's certain their energy affected you in a way where it was draining. OK, it was very draining and you abandoned a lot of those things that you was passionate about because of them being in your life. Even love life. I feel like your love life was also affected because of this person's energy. How has having them in your life affected you? This is important to know because especially for those of you who have released this person from your life, you might be in that energy of questioning, well, did I make the right decision? Um, and so far, I can say definitely you made the right decision because you listened to your intuition. And so knowing how their energy affected you will keep you from going backwards, okay? Um, especially in, in the energy of hermit mode, uh, you have to transmute that energy so that you don't feel lonely or that you don't... Um, feel tempted to go back look at this how did their energy affect you i mean it don't get no more clear than this we're talking about the devil here this person kept you chained and bound to this negative energy where you was not able to move you was not able to create for yourself because this person had such a toxic low vibrational energy in your life that they kept you chained and bound to fear they kept you chained and bound to maybe even addictive behavior for some of you they kept you chained and bound to the lowest vibrational energy that could possibly come from the deck. So you you definitely made the right decision by releasing this person. This person, for some of you, might have even been the type of person that tempted you to do things that was against your own moral compass. Or maybe you begin to awaken to like, okay, this person is not good for me. You know, the ideas or the things that they bring around or... Um, the things that we end up doing, even when it came to going out together, it, it just was very, very low vibrational in energy here. Okay. So you was chained and bound this person. I'm telling you, this is why you was not able to have those breakthroughs. You, you had to break free from this person because their energy for some of you with the lovers in the reverse coming out right behind the devil. If this was somebody that you was actually in a relationship with, this person was also doing sex magic. Okay. 
This person was keeping you stuck so that you would not be able to move towards your true love, okay, your true divine partnership, okay? With this coming out in the reverse, this person, that person would have been doing some sort of sex magic, um, dark magic to keep you stuck and chained and bound to them on a sexual level, to keep you lusting after them um, so that they could maintain because they was very codependent on your energy. But yeah, this person, wow, you did the right thing by releasing this one, okay? How, how, how else was their energy affecting you? Look at this. It kept you stuck. I told you it kept you stuck because they was very codependent with the Queen of Cups coming out in the reverse again. Okay? Very codependent emotionally on you and it kept you stuck. But you begin to see this from a new perspective though. And that energy of hangman, you got tired of hanging from that tree and sacrificing yourself and sacrificing those those your gifts and the things that you you know your aspirations and your desires to stay stuck to this type of energy. Somebody who's emotionally unstable, somebody who is emotionally unavailable, somebody that does not love themselves, somebody who is drama filled. I mean, it, it was keeping you away from moving towards your self love and new love. Okay, so for some of you, again, if this was an actual relationship, um, very very toxic. But either way, even if it wasn't a relationship, it was. Um, my goodness, with the devil coming out first, it don't get no more clear than that. Okay. So one more card in terms of how this person was affecting your energy. You got the star card here. This person knew that you was destined to be someone great, okay? And this is why they needed your energy because they knew that you have a divine connection to all things that exist around you in, in, you know, in terms of the earth, in terms of internally, in terms of your connection to the universe and all things that exist outside of you, in terms of your connection to the most high. You had a strong ability to heal. They knew that once you healed, I just heard chosen seed. Many of you are chosen seeds. They knew that once you healed, you was going to become someone great. For, for many of you, maybe even a star, okay? Someone who's well known in the public eye. This person kept you chained and bound to this demonic energy because they was chained and bound to it. And so I told you energetically, if a person is low vibrational in their energy in the spiritual realm, that umbilical cord that you have to them because you have not healed enough to know the importance of releasing those types of energies from your life, it will keep you chained and bound to that devil energy as well. And so you might have been questioning, well, why can't I get past this, um, you know, I, I go and I, I start this project or I start this and I put my all into it and suddenly it just comes crashing down or why can't I release myself from this addiction or why can't I release myself from this habit or these types of relationships? It's because of that person that was in your life, you know, and we're not going to put it all off on that person. A large part of it dealt with whatever issues you had internally, you you attracted this person to you to bring those lessons in your life so that you could ultimately see after going through a lot of the betrayal, you would ultimately awaken and see the importance of clearing your energy and keeping only people who are operating from a space of integrity, love, compassion, you know, that high vibrational energy, people who know who they are, people who want to grow and expand. Um, and become the best versions of themselves, you now understand the importance of only allowing yourself to be in the company of those types of people, or at least people who are willing to go through the process of healing themselves. So even if they're not completely there, they at least, they, they understand, they, they respect your journey, they respect your path, they respect your wisdom, and they want to learn from you on how they too can heal and become the most transparent and authentic versions of themselves because this person is naked here. So you you being you finding out who you truly were in your healing, this person was very afraid of that because they had no idea who they was, okay? And they knew that ultimately you releasing them was going to actually cause you to attract a lot of blessings into your life, okay? A lot of beautiful things will come towards you as a result of releasing them. And so this is that devil energy that came in that was that, you know, that used that person as the, as the perfect host to keep you chained and bound to that devil energy so that ultimately you would not rise up and become who you was destined to be. Okay. Because once 
You get enough people doing that. Hey, the, remember that beast that I always talk about? It keeps you chained and bound and feeding that beast. That umbilical cord to the beast is what the enemy desires for you to have. And so there will be people strategically placed into your life, whether it's through family members from childhood, from birth, okay, to surround those, especially the chosen, to keep, to keep us from awakening to who we are because the moment you do that is the moment that they lose the 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 enemy or the beast loses that that source of 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 food that source of nourishment that it needs from your divine purpose okay because you're chosen okay there's a lot of things about you that the enemy needs in order to stay uh, you know in order to feed off of your energy you're special okay and so this person was in your life knowing that they was causing a lot of um drama wreaking havoc and they wanted to keep you stuck they wanted to sacrifice you Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Sacrifice you, okay, in a spiritual realm to keep you stuck so that you would never awaken, but you have. You've done the work. You have healed, okay? Um, so let me pull one more in terms of how, let's see. Yeah, now you're, you're putting in the work to heal yourself. You're now focused, okay? You've made up your mind. This is what came out. You've made up your mind, okay, to move forward. Okay, now you want to build with like-minded people. You have made up your mind to turn away from this person. You're putting them behind you. Now you're ready to move forward to work with like-minded like people. You're ready to actually be able to finally focus in on your purpose, okay? Because remember, this car was in reverse in, in the beginning, okay? You wasn't able to focus in, or if you begin projects, you wasn't able to perfect your, your skills because this person kept you in that energy of self-sabotage. OK, there's a lot of different things that come along with being chained and bound to lower level energy people. OK, and so um, let me see. What what attracted you to this person? What attracted you to this person? So that's important to know as well. What attracted you to this person? Um, I had multiple decks out, but I feel like the message is very clear just with this one deck here. What attracted you to this person? Let's see. Look at this. What attracted you to this person was the five of swords in reverse is trying to avoid conflict and drama. Seven of swords in reverse is that energy of um, unmasking deception. Okay. Okay. What attracted you to this person was that they came in to teach you the importance of not allowing yourself to become exactly what you, you know, was trying to avoid, okay? They taught you the importance of not becoming this, a manipulator, okay, a, a deceiver, a thief, okay, someone who was very deceptive in their energy, sneaky, a liar, you attracted this person because they was all of these things towards you. And so the lessons that they brought in was actually teaching you the importance of releasing yourself from these people. That's why you was attracted to them because ultimately, as you continue to grow and to expand and to create for yourself, they taught you the importance of not having this type of energy within you internally. Because when you manifest and you operate with this type of energy, people that manifest from this type of energy go towards dark magic. They go towards sacrificing people. They will go, they will do things at any, at all cost in order to gain material wealth, fame, um, you know, love. They'll do anything. They'll manipulate people. They'll hurt people. They'll do anything in order to gain that. But because you are chosen, you are to take a different path. You are not to dabble in things that will actually move you towards darkness. Your position here is to actually be a light, whatever that looks like for you. And so you attracted this person to you for them to bring in some vital lessons to show you the importance of not allowing these types of people in your life, no way, shape or form, and definitely not becoming this type of person. Okay. That's why you attracted them into your life. Um, Let's see what else comes out here. Yeah, you attracted them to, to understand the importance of not hurting other people, okay? And not allowing heartbreak or past pain or 
other people's deception to keep you chained and bound or to block off your heart chakra because the three of swords in reverse is all about healing from the past pain. So they came in to show you the importance of healing your heart, healing from past pain, and allowing your heart to be free to love, to be free to continue in that energy of self-love so that you would attract people to you that are operating in, that are a mirror reflection of how you truly feel about yourself. And there's so many swords here. It's also about the way that you think because the swords deals with the mind. It deals with the thought process. And so I'm seeing here that they was attracted, you attracted this person into your life to understand the importance of shifting your thoughts, shifting the way that you view life, shifting the way that you view yourself, shifting the way that you create abundance for yourself, okay? Because maybe in the past, because you was operating in low vibrational energy being attached to this person, you was actually maybe doing things in opposition to that, in opposition to love, compassion, integrity. You might have been trying to manifest in a way that was against who you was created to be. So maybe manipulating people, maybe hurting other people, maybe hurting yourself, you know, in order to gain material abundance for yourself or to level up or whatever the case may be, maybe even manipulating other people in your love life, in relationships. You attracted this person to you to show you the importance of stepping outside of that and, and doing something different, okay? Releasing yourself from this type of energy and healing. Shifting your thought process, transmuting those thoughts, okay? Let's see what else. What attracted this person to you? We have here the King of Wands in reverse. So I feel that maybe at one point, you know, you might have been in a player energy. You might have been a manipulated, you know, someone that was manipulating other people or someone who maybe used your sexual energy to your advantage to try to um, get your way or maybe even was very jealous in your energy at one point. You might have been very insecure in, re in regards to um, moving on those things that you was passionate about. You might have lacked zeal and passion for life. So you attracted this person to you because they're insecure, they're jealous, they're manipulative. They, um, yeah, they manipulate people by using their emotions, their emotional codependencies to get what they want. They are not passionate about going after the things that they desire in life. And so you attracted that person to you because you was operating in that energy at one point in your life, okay? Because of past pain. But you, you saw the importance of releasing that. So let me see. Yeah, you attracted this person into your life also because you had lack mentality. There was a part of you that was in survival mode for a long time that felt like you had to be codependent on others. That felt like you was never going to be able to get towards your... Um, financial security um, you took a lot of losses here but this is also like I said lack mentality feeling as if you never had enough maybe even not having gratitude for the things that you did possess in life um, and so in that lack mentality again that's that codependent energy staying in survival mode all the time and in survival mode your root chakra is uh, definitely affected and so you was also operating from a space of fear when it came to being able to level up and to grow and to have a solid foundation that was not going to buckle at any given moment. And so this person, having them in your energy, it showed you the importance of coming out of lack mentality and understanding that everything is abundantly available to you if you're planting good seeds and good soil, okay? And learning how to be independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. Having that confidence and that courage, you know, with the yellow here, that's all solar plexus energy. And doing things and planting these seeds from a space of love. Doing things from a space of love and integrity. And so, let me see. I'm just going to pull from this deck really quickly just to see a little bit more information in regards to this person. you got angels that are protecting you. And so, this is why you was being divinely guided. Because you was being protected, yeah, to be set free from this person's energy. The angels was protecting you so that you could ultimately release yourself from this person. And so even though they had you chained and bound for a time to that devil energy because you was connected to them, they was connected to the devil and therefore you was connected to that energy. You had angels that were still protecting you to keep you from um, self-destruction, okay? 
slanderous here. So remember, I did um, speak on this person uh, gossiping about you and slandering your name. So yes, they have done that. Okay. Let's see what else is coming out here. Look, another card that says you've been set free. Why? Because you took your power back and you released this person. You set yourself free from this person. You, you broke the chains when it came to that devil card. You broke the chains, okay? You became the generational curse breaker. No, I'm no longer going to hold on. This might have been a close relative for you, but their efforts towards you was blocked. Like I told you, some of them was doing dark magic on you, just to let you know, okay, if it was a lover, some of them was doing sex magic, and even those who was fr uh, family members blocked efforts. They was trying to block everything that you tried to do. For some of you, this was a close relative, a family member, okay? Um, yeah, to cause confusion. Remember, I spoke on the Seven of Cups to cause confusion and to make you, you was the black sheep. The black sheep is usually the one that's chosen. They're usually the one that's set, aser, that's set aside and preserved for a greater purpose. And so you end up being treated differently. You end up being put down or placed in the shadows behind other people because nobody ever wants you to awaken to who you truly are and the power that you truly possess. So they cause a lot of confusion by telling you that you're, you're not, you're different. Okay. Making you feel different by doing things towards you to make you feel as if you're not enough. Okay. So I'm gonna pull one more from this deck and then I'm gonna pull for some advice and I'm going to close out. I'm glad to see that you all took your power back and released yourself. And if you haven't done it yet, you know, let me pick these up. If you, if you haven't done it yet, it's time for you to really go within, pray about it, okay? Genuine love and protect yourself. So, yes, protecting yourself means allowing only people around you who have genuine love for you, okay? Only allowing people into your space that are a, a direct reflection of the love that you have for yourself. And that's why healing was so important for you. Um, because you can't love yourself if you have not healed from things that you have gone through. And so now a part, a large part of setting healthy boundaries for yourself and protecting yourself is only allowing people into your space who offer genuine love. And you will recognize what it looks like because you've been given enough scenarios to understand what false love looks like so now you understand what genuine love looks like okay you'll be able to recognize it right away and so let me see in terms of advice that i want to give you all and then i'll close out look at this rejoice and celebrate with like-minded people those people who are operating from genuine love those people who have the same optimistic view on life those people who want to celebrate those people who are not operating from a space of misery those people who celebrate your creative endeavors they celebrate your victories okay and you celebrate theirs as well it's a reciprocal relationship here then this uh, says the energy is gaining momentum so things are picking up for you now where there was stagnation in the past now the energy is picking up for you and so those things that you are creating it's coming towards you. You are calling it towards you. Those blessings that were put on hold because you were still attached to the devil, you've now moved on from that energy, okay? You've now moved on from that dark, lifeless energy, and you're moving on towards the light where there is life, okay? These leaves over here, they're life. They have life in them. These leaves back here is lifeless. You see all that darkness, that dark, that dark thick cloud that was over you from being a part of that uh, connection, relationship, whoever that person is. You are moving towards harmony and peace and balance now. Look at this. This says, what do you need to release? You know what the heck you needed to release. You needed to release that person, and that's what you did. All of this snow here, this is about purifying your energy, okay? Purifying your energy. Some of you are going to walk away this winter. If you haven't already done it, you're getting ready to walk away in this season, okay? This upcoming season to move towards your happiness. It's time, okay? The energy is right, you know, it's, it's ripened. You've planted many good seeds in your life, and so now it's time for you to get what you deserve. You know, overcome these obstacles and challenges. For some of you, you might feel like it's a hard thing to do. It's only because you are looking at it from a perspective that is, um, you know, you're, you're actually placing fear over it. Whereas all you got to do is just take the first step. Take the step, okay? This is a very easy obstacle to overcome. But some of you might be looking at it as being hard because you're looking down and not up. It's time for you to start looking up. Looking, looking towards, um, you know, instead of focusing in on what you might be losing, focus in on what you're gaining from releasing these type of people because you're not losing anything. You already took all of the losses that you was going to take from being connected to this person who was chained to the devil and wanted to keep you chained to that devil. So now 
it's time for you. This says go wild. I like this card. Be the lion. Be bold as the lion, okay? It's time for you to go wild. Take the leap of faith, okay? Move towards your destiny. Don't let anybody try to tame you or hold you back from your divine purpose. Um, you're strong. You're powerful. And it's time that you embrace that and understand who you was created to be. And I feel like many of you, you're already in that energy. But for those of you that have yet to do it, like I said, pray about it. Listen to your intuition. You know who this person is. You saw the devil card come out in terms of what their energy has been doing and how it has affected you. That's the first card that came out, okay? So look at this, positive movement forward. Keep going. Keep going towards the sun. Turn away from this person and keep going towards the sun. Some of y'all might even need to travel to relocate, okay? But also with the throat chakra here, speak your truth. It's time to change the way that you communicate. Speak your truth because you now understand you got the sword of truth. Open up your throat chakra because this person might have even blocked off your throat chakra for a time because they tried to project. They tried to make you feel bad or sorry for them, okay? And so they shut you down a lot of times. What other advice can I give you? So you have here compromise. Letting go is at the bottom. So I, I feel like with this card, it's about compromising with like-minded people, okay? With people that you have things in common with finding balance with those types of people and letting go of the ones that you don't, okay? Which would be that person that you are thinking about, okay? So allowing yourself to let go and to set yourself free, okay? And compromising with the right people, like-minded people. Look, fighting is in the reverse. Release yourself from this person because see, you was always having to stay armed up and geared up for the next battle with this person. And see, in the spiritual realm, you was fighting off them demons that this person was bringing around because that's that spiritual aspect of that relationship, okay? And so physically, in the physical realm, you was constantly armed up and geared up, ready to go to battle. But in this energy, you could not be transparent. In this energy, you could not be your authentic self because you had built up such an inauthentic wall around yourself in order to protect yourself that, you know, it, it, it kept you from moving towards your purpose and it slowed you down because this, this stuff is heavy, you can't move towards your divine purpose freely and, you know, flowing freely with all of this armor on. And so it's time to let go. It's time to release. It's time to drop the burden of that relationship. It's time to be happy again. Okay? Look, this says creativity. So now your creative energy, your creative um, energy is no longer blocked because I feel like that person was blocking your creative energy as well having them in your life and so now you get to flow freely to you know to move in your creative energy and to um, see life from a colorful perspective and this person is happy you know you can you're connected to all things that exist around you yeah look at this participation you're going to be participating with other like-minded people who want to build with you okay other people who have healed, other people who have grown, other people that desire to heal and grow. These are the type of people that you're actually creating a new foundation with. Integration. This is the last card, and I'm going to close out. Integration. So you, <coughs> you have found balance within yourself. That yin and that yang, your masculine and feminine energies, you know who you are. And so because you found balance and peace within yourself, that's why you are now integrating and finding balance and peace with other like-minded people. Okay? And so, yeah, receptivity. This is the last one I'm going to pull. Receptivity because, see, now you can be more receptive and transparent. Before, you couldn't do that because you was always staying armed up and geared up, ready for the next battle. But now you took that off. Now you're free. You're transparent. You're, you're who you're supposed to be. You have surrendered, okay? You have released that person, and now you're receiving all of those intuitive messages that are coming in. Now you're emotionally balanced. Now you're receptive to... Uh, your high vibrational energy that the most high is blessing you with okay that divine connection to the most high you're shining you're glowing you know i mean everything is happening here it's, it's beautiful so now you are becoming the co-creator of your life you made a great decision for those of you that have already done it and if you have it again it's time for you to go ahead and release clear your energy okay and allow yourself to finally live. So that's what I got for y'all. I love you. If you want a private reading from me, you can always email me for a private reading. Thank you all for the donations. Thank you for the likes, the subscribes, and the comments. And I will see you all next time.